Okay, YouTube family, we getting more information. I just did a video explaining how a witness was there and I made sure I hit the phone number, but this witness sent this information to Sean Cotton and he's pretty much tying mob ties to this, man. He's adding mob ties to the situation. He's adding a whole lot. And according to this dude, man, he's saying that mob ties was involved in the situation. Mob ties was in the area and mob ties and, and takeoff got into a situation. And that's when takeoff, you know, he jumped up and one of the mob ties, I think, took off as well. And takeoff homeboy, you know what I'm saying? And Quavo homeboy, he started popping at this situation and he shot wild and shooting wild. He allegedly hit. You feel me? Uh, um, take off in the situation, and this is what everybody alluding to and bringing up now. Before um, y'all go, I'm not gonna really post that um, message right now. It's on the other video I just dropped. What I want to talk about is mob ties. We hear about mob ties every day, and y'all know the respect I got for mob ties. I damn near promote them every day. I, I, I talk about how they did a good thing for Finesse Two Times, my dog that I love seeing his growth. I love how Jay Prince Jr. brought him in from a, a private jet, made that man feel like he's a king for real. Man, I love everything mob ties do, even what they did with Honeycomb Brazy or everybody else, even with Drake. We can keep going. Even with the earlier careers of Floor Mayweather, you know what I mean? Like, Mob Ties has put in work to make peace in the community, but we got to keep it real. When you read what people are writing, and, and we seen pictures of Quavo chilling with Jazz Prince on his birthday weekend. You know, we know Mob Ties definitely cool with the Migos, and it was their job, allegedly, to protect them boys and make sure they safe. But now we're hearing the dice game was members of Mob Ties. I'm going to say allegedly too, but hey, the witness put it out there. We ain't snitching. We ain't doing none of that. It's 100 articles and with the witness and all that, what they posted up out there. So everything is allegedly, but let me report the news. Save all that extra, y'all. You don't like what you're hearing, click off and go to the next platform. Now, what's going on is folks in the room was majority Mob Ties and take off and Quavo folks got into a heated man of course it was outsiders too but heated situation and they're like the shots came from both teams and that's when it got a little bit nasty because now you got different directions of folks shooting around and when takeoff got hit i don't think let me put a, at least one picture that i shared already this is takeoff chilling in the cut minding his own business not doing anything it's right here takeoff was in the cut he was not even part of them with the dice game he was just doing his thing vibing vibing in that motherfucker you feel me not bothering nobody just relaxing and it's unfortunate that when the homies of quavo started popping unfortunately allegedly the witness said that's when takeoff got hit and he automatically dropped now what we got to be careful is this witness talked a lot about mob ties we don't know if the witness is affiliated with mob ties and just throwing us off so we can put the blame on quavo and them people but let's just keep it a stack, though. I'm not going to put nothing past nobody. I'm going to put everybody at fault. Quavo is at fault for being heated in the situation. Maybe a diva mentality, but because that's his nephew, I'm not going to go in on Quavo right now. He hurt right now. We can save that video for another time. Quavo, my heart's with you and your family. Let me keep it rocking. Now, we know Takeoff is the chillest member of the group, the laid back member of the group. Folks gonna need and demand answers from Mob Ties. Names is being thrown out everywhere. A lot of members too, names is being thrown out everywhere. And I need people to understand what's about to happen in that Houston area. You know, we already know, I'm not gonna say too much, but I need y'all to understand what's gonna happen. And Mob Ties, we know y'all can protect each other, y'all got the resources and all that, but it's time to use the resources, even if it's your own member. I'm not saying take them to 12 or none of that, but folks just need answers, bruh. Folks need to, I need, I need them mob time members who always got something to say, so much love to y'all, but y'all always saying something on the social media platforms, even if it's a J Prince Jr. or a J Prince himself, when you do them encrypted um, IG postings or when y'all get into it with Charleston White or WAC 100, y'all respond to it quickly. This gonna be one of them ones where we need y'all to respond. We need y'all to let us know what the hell going on, gang. Cause something ain't adding up. I, I, I'm scratching and I'm itching and I could feel the heebie-jeebies creeping in right here and it's saying something 
ain't really leading to this because you just seen mob ties names everywhere and if you don't know what i'm talking about go to my other videos i'm not posting it with this videos here now you know we do know takeoff i mean, he said something before he died i want y'all to go to it right quick with me let's go to it and listen to what takeoff had to say before he died at the drink champs is how you shining like appreciate like, it. I, I feel like i feel like I feel like not not like of course you were shining before, but I feel like you was dancing on this one. Yeah. I felt like you he was just crazy. like yo. I felt like it was just like like it was always your time. It was your time to prove it. Is that something you had in your mind when you was going in recording? Oh, for sure. Okay. You know what I mean, uh, enough is enough. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm chill. You know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. laid back, but mm -hmm. it's time to pop it. You know what I mean? I mean, time to give me my flowers. You know what I mean? Right. I don't yes. want them later on when I ain't here. God damn it. You know what I mean, I want them right God now. Damn. So. Give me God damn it. Yeah. Yeah. Now, one thing I really, really love about the project. Now that hurt right there. That man want his flowers right now while he's here, man. Take off. I've been giving you your flowers, man. But gang, you probably don't even know. And I remember at the mall when we seen you and I shouted out, you the best member in the group. I stand on it. In 2016 or 17, I, I think it was 17 and I shouted out, you the best member in the Migos. And a couple of people at the mall was giggling and laughing. And I was thinking in my head, I'm not doing no jokes. He the best member in the group. The one who talked the least is always the one who stand out the most. You think all them folks from the females to the kings out here, we didn't want to know who the hell Takeoff was from the first time we see the Migos? You want to know who the quiet one is because he possessed so much power that the world don't even get to know. He possessed so much energy. Now I got to read all this about Mob Ties this, Mob Ties that. And it's like... I don't want to hear it, bro. I, I I enjoy everything about mob ties. They're like the nation of Islam, how they protect other people, how they move around. But after Duke the Jeweler just got killed in Houston as well, folks already were saying bad things about their name and little Boosie, but especially mob ties. Now, this right here for sure is going to make people say it ain't a conspiracy. It is what it is with them dudes. And I, I, I don't know if they comfortable with it, they cool with it, but I think that's one of them situations where they got to run it up and, and let folks know bro we just need closure bro because folks hold on to things and things get bad and nasty out here folks hold on to it and they let it ring you know ring my bell you know the song but ring our heads with information because information will solve a lot of people right now from getting killed right now let's just keep it real niggas are going to be getting dropped right now can i just say it the aftermath of this is going to be game over Niggas are going to be dropping like flies right now. If you don't want to believe it, it's on you. So when, what we need to do is slow that process down from more people losing their life by just giving information in a sincerity way where nobody could get locked up, but people can definitely get some justice. Y'all know what justice I'm talking about. We ain't going to get too deep into that. But man, look, man, love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed. I say that all the time. Y'all get mad at me for reporting the news when these rappers dying. I would give y'all more respect for getting mad at the people who's actually killing these folks you feel me man stay blessed man